Mike Missanella, Joe Conklin, and Vinny the Crow. The Philly Guys. 5.30 to 10 a.m. On 93.3 WMMR. Claude Lapointe, the Janssen. That's stolen by Havlock. That pass to Schaefer. Oh, the open net. He scores! Well, on that play, uh, Roman came out to cut off the angle, and uh, he passed it right over there. And uh, when you have those open nets, that's always good for a shooter because uh, usually it goes in the net. Claude Lapointe. Well, uh, the one nothing, and uh, if the Flyers can uh, manage to score a goal, they, it could be one one, Timmy. Good insight there, Brian. And you know it'd be a lot different story if the Flyers had the services of their top defenseman, Eric Desjardins. Yeah, Desjardins would be really good back there because he's a veteran defenseman and he moves the puck. Very good insight, Brian. But I believe his name is pronounced Desjardins. My bad. Well, you would hope that the power play would be more efficient. There's Janssen at the point. It's Arvidsson, tips it, pass Janssen. It's on to Fisher. He scores a goal. Oh, well, you know, those special teams, those special teams really can hurt you there. Uh, the Flyers uh, had the power play, and uh, they really hadn't scored, and uh, Alfredson really made a good play there, Timmy. No, his name is Arvidsson. Arvidsson, uh, Alfredson, we're down 2 nothing. I got I to gotta feel if the Flyers can score a goal, they can make it 2-1. to one. Very good point, Brian. He prefers to be called Arvidsson, and you can only help but think uh, the Flyers would be in a lot better shape if they had the services of their star defenseman, Eric Dejus. Well, you know, down 2 nothing in the second period, you know, the Flyers can score one goal a period and they can win it in overtime, Timmy. Let's hope for overtime, Brian. And the Sens on the power play. Redden to Hassa. Back to Alfred Tenney scores! Oh, well, that makes it 3 nothing. The Flyers then now would have to score a goal in this period and then maybe in the third period and then get one on overtime and hope for double overtime, Timmy. Right you are, Brian. Thank you. Well, you know, on that goal, uh, well, the, he shot the puck and uh, Roman was doing the splits and it went through the five hole and usually when the puck goes through the five hole, it's going to score. You can't blame Czech Monica at all on that one because he's Czechoslovakian. Carries pass, center ice. It's White, Fisher, back to Smolenski, they score! Oh, well, that uh, goal looked like the defense uh, just did not uh, get back in, in time and it kind of left uh, Roman uh, out there uh, naked, ba basically, there, and uh, that makes it 4 nothing. The Flyers are really going to have to come up strong, Timmy, in the second period, maybe score three goals to make it a 4-3 game to make the third period a little easier. But right now, it's 4 nothing, which means the Flyers have not scored a goal yet. That's very good insight, Brian. Williams with the puck. There's a scrum in the middle. The Hanson's box. He scores! Oh, 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 my God! Yeah, 19,000 people are on their feet. The Flyers oh. are not done yet. There's a lot of fight in this team. There's no quit in this team. There's no quit in the word team. They're damn right! And the Flyers are on the board, and they only have to score 75 more times to get back in this frickin' series. Oh, and, and you know now, Timmy, that the Flyers are on the board. They just need three more goals to tie the score. And uh, maybe, you know, you get a bump in front. Uh, you, you get a puck off a butt. You never know. Uh, they, they can do it. This Flyer team has been here before. And um, we'll see what happens because they need one, that one goal more will make it 4-2. And then they would be 4-3. And then hopefully they get that equalizer. That's Brian Propp. He's a former Flyer. It's scoreless so far in the third period. Uh, Flyers, if they can get one here, they can be right back in this thing at Schaefer. Schaefer, a hot line in the score. Well, you know, and that uh, when uh, Roman really didn't play that very well, but uh, I I'm sure he's got a few saves left in him, Timmy. I think the Flyers now uh, behind the eight ball a little bit, five to one, but... You, uh, you know, they, you get the guys like Recky there, the experienced guys like Primo. You know these guys can ignite. It could happen. Uh, they need four goals now. And, uh, you know, if they score one, they could close the gap a little bit. And then they would need three goals. And I believe they're going to institute the three-goal shot. If you score from the blue line, I believe I was told today that uh, that could tie it up. It's the NBA rule they put in uh, just today. And uh, possibly they could score it and send it into overtime and get these fans turned Turned on again. You know, these Flyer fans paying $250 a pop, they've got a lot of cheer left in them. Especially for Claude Lapointe, Proppy. And with four minutes to go, the Flyers need six goals. That would be a goal every 45 seconds, Brian. Well, you know, I think you got to put the puck on the net there. Uh, Dorney, uh, uh, remember?
remember Dorney, you would be in front all the time and you, you never know, you throw it at net and uh, you could get a deflection, it could go in and all of a sudden uh, Ottawa starts pressing and uh, their defensemen lose confidence and you never know, uh, they, you know, this Flyer team has a lot of fight in them still. You guys like JR uh, making $8,000 million a game and you know, you got these high priced guys that could come up big for you here. And if they don't, I'm just going to have a beer anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there's the final buzzer, and I think that just may do it. Well, I think the Flyers really have to come up big in Game 7 there, Timmy. No, it's, uh, it's over now. Oh, Ruffy. it's over. Well, in that case, then maybe in the offseason, Clarkie can come up with a couple of more moves. And, you know, this team is still solid. Uh, you know, they tinker in a couple of positions, and they could be playing for the Stanley Cup again next year. Make good points again. That's Brian Propp. He's a former Flyer. That's right. And my website is onestopforgolf.com for the people out there. I just like to put that out there. I, I've had fun working with you, Timmy. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Mike Missanelli, Joe Conklin, and Vinny the Crow. The Philly Guys. 5.30 to 10 a.m. On 93.3 WMMR. MMR. MMR. MMR.